today I'm going to be talking about Penguin Drum. Hello. <laughs> so, yes, I'm going to be talking about Penguin Drum. It's finally ended. The ordeal is over, guys. A couple weeks back, I did a video called Penguin Drum is Dumb. It was episode 3 of Anime Say, and it got some quite mixed reactions. A lot of people were saying, yeah, I agree with you. You're spot on. Then I had people saying, you're a complete fucking dickhead. You're wrong. Well, I'm pretty sure after watching the <laughs> conclusions of the series, you'd have to be completely delusional to think that that was actually a solid ending. It completely made no sense. Everything that had built up to to that ending, it, it just everything led to nothing. So they're all fated to be so. so they're, they're, it's bullshit. Now look, I'm going to look over the series as a whole here. I'm going to point out to, to you guys why this was complete shit. Why, while it may be enjoyable, maybe so, sort of fun to watch, it's crap and it's nowhere near as good as you all think it is. I'm going to point, point out to you guys why Penguin Drum is still dumb. Alright, let's start off with plot twists. We have completely shit, pointless plot twists that are just thrown in for the sake of being a plot twist. Like, they're like, how do we end this episode in a way that will make people think that we actually have a storyline in, in our minds planned out? Well, they they think that you can throw in a plot twist that promises, like, some sort of change in the whole tone of the show or change in character, and then don't they, they just never pay off. You can't just say... Oh, here, here's a um, plot twist, and then next episode pretty much negate the entire twist. It, it's just plot twist for the point of doing a plot twist. There's no, there's no point to it. It's just for the sake of a plot twist. Like if if you watch the series since the start, the, the beginning was pretty, pretty decent. The middle went completely batshit, fucking crazy. Lost all focus. The characters became cardboard fucking cutouts of no emotion at all. It was. It was like putting a gun to every character's head and then reanimating them as some sort of living doll that honestly none of these characters had any emotions past like episode 15. And when it got to the end, it was just like, well, we didn't really plan this out at all, so let's just end it here, make everyone think, oh, there's all this symbolism, I can't believe how amazing that is. It's not amazing, it's shit. Like, after all these episodes of Penguin Drum, I thought they would at least amount to something, but it really didn't. I don't know why they did this, I don't know what the reason was, but honestly, it's just all style, no substance. That's all it is, that's what this entire show is, and that's that. Well, that's not about Penguin Drum. A lot of you, a lot of you might have seen this other series that was going on that actually was kind of the opposite of Penguin Drum in terms of plotting. That series is Ungo. Now Ungo is a fucking brilliant series. This this show had 11 episodes to tell a pretty damn good story. And you know what? It fucking did. It did. I don't understand how Penguin Drum can have twice as many episodes but can't even tell a solid story like Ungo did. Not only did Ungo tell an overall solid story, it told a brilliant story on a week by week basis. Why the fuck couldn't Penguin Drum do that? Here's why, because the people behind it, like Ikuhara and all that fucking dumb cunts that make it, they have no idea how to make anime. They don't. They don't know how to tell a story because they're fucking idiots. I know I'm gonna cop a lot of flack for this, but it's completely, it's being completely honest. He does not know how to tell a story. He knows how to create pretty images, yes. Maybe he should go be a painter, an artist, but he does not know how to tell a story. Anime and manga are a, a story art form. They're about telling a story, not about showing fucking imagery and saying, this is a symbol of this. No. Fucking no! Calm down, though. Calm down. I'm calm. I'm calm. I just honestly... Penguin Drum is just one of those shows that it's always going to be popular with the otaku, like, the otaku sort of culture because... It's one of those shows that is fucking weird and doesn't have any point to it. And honestly, those sort of shows are always seem to be popular with those sort of people. Ungo, it's it's brilliant. In it can be it's can be enjoyed by anyone. It just tells a fucking brilliant story 
and I cannot, I cannot express how much I cannot wait for the prequel movie to reveal some of the backstory of Inga and Shinjiro because it's a brilliant, brilliant story and it's a world I want to know more about. The characters are portrayed properly, they don't completely change personalities halfway through the series, no they don't. Like we, we discover more layers of the characters, yes. Whereas in Penguin Drum, it's just like, this character was like this, but now they're like this. It's, it's, uh, oh, Penguin Drum, why, why, why did I watch you? Why did I watch that shit? <sighs> Anyways, that's about it. Alright, so, I'm no longer going to be doing recommendations, but, yeah, whatever. So, this has been Anime Say, I'm Luke Halliday. Hello! Credits keep rolling up, keep rolling up. The credits keep rolling up. The credits keep rolling up, they keep rolling, 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 rolling up, up, up.